Hello Simmers, welcome to more Sim Megsy Megsy more. So I decided to jump in to what's called rags to riches in Sim slang R to R. So um, I've been doing a lot of research because there's specific rules. Um, I'm not actually sure, sorry don't mind me just twirling around with my sim um i'm not actually sure if it's a legit challenge where you actually have to click on like your um menu or when you create a sim and choose uh rag stretches as i said i'm very new to this kind of stuff i usually just focus on aspirations careers and skills and family and that kind of stuff um, I've never had a sim that's had no money so what you, have to do, what you first have to do this video is basically going to lay out the rules for those of you that don't know there's a lot of rules and requirements in order to actually be successful um, it's quite a tricky um, challenge um, not sure how well I'm going to do it but I'm going to try even if I have to start with another sim if I don't uh, do well with this sim so the first thing you have to do is create a sim which is fine and then um, she can have any aspiration um, and then you have to pull you have to buy an empty lot with whatever money was in her account but then you have to go straight away and type in your cheats code which um, remember control shift C and then we type money and we type not okay so I'm not gonna type enter because I've already done it so now she has nothing so that's the first thing then I actually just want to check is her aging turned off because you're allowed to have aging off um, but you're not allowed to have any other cheats so that's going to be very difficult for me because I just posted a video the other day about the cheats that I use um, and I do use a few basic cheats but I'm not going to be using any of them so let me just go through the rules so okay create your sim step one step two buy an empty lot Step three, type in money naught. Okay, so you don't have any money. Then, once you've done that, um, these are the like uh, goals kind of that you want to achieve in the Sims uh, rags torches. Um, sorry, I might be rambling because I'm reading from my notes. <laughs> yes, I made notes. That's how into this I am. Okay, so players begin with a limited amount of money. So I've just taken all the money out. Um, I'll get to that at a, when I actually start playing with the sim. Um, the goal is to make your sim start from nothing and then become super wealthy. Um, rules your sim can only stay at a friend's house for one day of the week okay and you have to be friends with that sim uh you must meet the goals for children before aging them up them up so for a toddler they have to have maxed out all their um skills before you can raise, raise them to a teenager and then for a teenager um the the oh before aging before aging them to a teenager you have to have perfect school grades and a level five to ten in any skill um before a young adult level five in any two skills and a part-time job or level ten in any two skills um and if you have marriage with one of your sims it must be hosted on your um sims by behalf hosted by your sim and pay them as pay all the wedding costs then it says it said on one of the things that um you can pay five hundred dollars to the simoleons to the bank before starting to build a house but technically we don't have a bank in the sim so then i read on another another link that you can just put in five hundred dollars and remove five hundred dollars so your sim i think is allowed to start with a thousand dollars and then you remove five hundred dollars and that enables her to build start building her house the construction but then i read before you before you start building your home your sim has to have a level 5 of handiness. 
the five hundred dollars is to going to the bank is for causing a disturbance to your neighbors. So how ridiculous is that? Um, I don't even have any neighbors basically. Um, so you have to have handiness level five, and then you have to have the handiness level seven, um, and gardening level five before you're allowed to construct a garden. You're also not allowed to construct a garden before you subtract subtract five hundred dollars in order to basically get the rights to build a garden, and um, you're not allowed to build a garden until you have a basic home set up so to the first step building a home you must build an entire home with a kitchen dining room living room at least three bedrooms at least two bathrooms this will also have a study room with at least one computer and a pool then you can construct a garden plus you have to have the level five handiness and the money for the bank plus gardening level five and i think handiness level seven actually handiness level five was for building your home so that is quite a lot already you must have started to build a home before you're allowed to get a job you must be under construction before starting to build a garden you must have a house under construction or built before you marry another sim the sim that you marry is also not allowed to have any money or any possessions so once you've moved them into your household you have to remove any money or possessions in the inventory then when you meet another sim the goal is to have um at least three children and three uh to become a grandparent um then having a career and aspiration and wealth or owning a business to have any career you have to reach level 10 of that career to run a business such as a restaurant or retail shop or a clinic you must be able to have one thousand one hundred thousand dollars from operational operations and and earn the in entrepreneurial reward trait your wife or spouse or if you have, if you create a man or whatever your couple may be one of them has to um have at least completed one aspiration a child also has to complete an aspiration your house has to be valued and in the end between a hundred thousand and two hundred thousand dollars um once you've succeeded with the main goals, you now have the choice to proceed with the optional goals of the challenge. Um, and those are pretty basic, like your aspirations and your skills and careers and stuff. Um, you're allowed to dumpster dive once a week. So I was looking up ways to make money without actually having to have the money. Um, because she is going to have to pay rent. So that is going to become an issue. So um, firstly, you can dumpster dive once a week and then sell whatever you catch there then in order to keep her needs satisfied because now we won't be able to use the cheat needs um which is going to be really difficult for me because i use that one all that's like my basic cheat that i use with every sim um you go to the public community lots um there's like for example on willow creek magnolia blossom there is um quite a lot that you can do there there's the grill which means that your sim can cook and at least eat there but you can't take the food home with you in the inventory um there's the fishing pond and i just seeing now that there's a fishing pond right here apparently you are allowed to fish and then sell the fish from your inventory um at magnolia blossoms there's also a logic table um to play chess to increase your logic skills then apparently you are allowed to um well i've read com conflicting views you're not allowed to sell paintings or get uh royalties from books until you're actually in that career so i'm very confused as to how that is allowed so i'm just going to go the route of um programming and um fishing and stuff because um and practicing gardening on the public lots and then handiness i know there's at the um outdoor retreat pack at the deep woods i think it is there's a little communal spot where you can use the um, handiness table um so that's how i'll get her skills up and then um obviously if you dig in and whatever your 
you earn in your inventory I think you're allowed to sell so that's why I say I don't know if it's going to be successful because there are a lot of conflicting views on what you are and aren't allowed to do but I have written them down and I'll um, post them, them up as step by steps um, in a short video um, but yeah let's see what we can do and um, I'm going to go to the magnolia park now and then i'm going to take her to an outdoor retreat and go to the deep woods and get her honey that's going so we can try and build a house um so far she's already got charisma and logic so i will keep you guys updated i might do a live play later but that's it for now please subscribe to my channel